Hey guys, Tara here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Alliance of Defiance. Playing for today's spawn in the north, we have first Preacher Man as US forces straight away, locking in airborne and bringing in some Pathfinders. Teaming up with him is Sedolio as the Soviets who has strike rifle frontline, Lend Lease and Soviet Shock Army, a bit of an unconventional loadout for 10 games. Still you there. Passing off against them, in the south we have Am Predator as OKW, and his loadout is Elite Armor. Fortifications and Special Operations, teaming up with him is Perez Eddie, as us there, who has Encirclement, Jaeger Armor, and Joint Ops. In terms of uh, rankings, this is around the rank 70 allied range team against around rank 180 Axis range team. So at the moment, Stern Pioneer is bullying the Pathfinders around. Maybe once the second squad rounds the corner. Right, here comes the second squad. From Am Predator behind heavy cover as well. MG going to work on this building. That's the only man to get it, get it around on the flank of it with his conscripts coming in from multiple angles. Nice play from Sidolio. Fox Trinities are winning this close range though. Preach Man was an awkward position. You know, can't really win a fight like that. Long range. Remember that the airborne pathfinders have two of the uh, scope carbines, so the anti infantry damage is actually a little bit lacking compared to the INR pathfinders that just have the one and then they have three of the paratrooper rifles, because these only have two of them. So outside of the crits, the uh, Pathfinders from Airborne are uh, a little bit lower in DPS, which is especially noticeable in those early engagements before any weapon upgrades come online or there's any damage on any of the infantry, so the criticals can't really shine in battle. Sidolio doing a good job locking down the fuel. Preacher Man making an assault here with three Pathfinders at once. Good idea to try bring them in all at once rather than bring them in one at a time. Potentially get overwhelmed. And Predator jumps out and looking for these Cinder Grenade, forcing these squads out of the heavy cover. Does make things quite awkward for Preacher Man here. Also bringing in the 221 slash 3, having selected Elite Armor. The tightrope approved build. So this is going to mop up these Pathfinders. It's really strong against the Pathfinders as well. No snares. The 223 hits the field at a very, very fast timing. So excellent counter here by Aim Predator on this Pathfinder build. Being a light vehicle early on is going to make life very easy for him. And Preacher Man actually going for an ambulance. So that's going to delay his light vehicle to counter the 223. So. Overall, things are looking really strong for Aim Predator on that far right hand side. Sirolio's push running uh, out of steam there as well. Gone for the Molotovs, but largely avoided by OS Eddie. Looks like Preacher Man had already retreated, so 2 2 1 coming over the other side, trying to get a couple kills on these retreating squads. Nothing too uh, incredible though. Get the command vehicle has converted to a static building. Converted to the static building. Back to full strength. So two two three upgrade straight away popping it. So I'm going to boost the armor, which is the big difference, make it basically impossible for these Pathfinders alone to deal with. We do have 
the lieutenant completed now, but quite late as I mentioned because of the ambience. And here comes the 221 to clean up these pathfinders, driving it right in close, which is what you want to do when you have no threat of snare. And does some good damage. Basically having that fuel on lockdown as aim predator, that pathfinder build getting shut down hard for preacher man. Here comes a Maxim for Sidolio. Getting suppressed. So allies without a fuel currently. One kill so far for the 223. Done a lot of health damage though, but it doesn't really matter too much when your opponent's gone through early ambience like that. But now it's starting to stack up some kills on these conscripts in the middle. Oh, should chase the kill. Doesn't even need to. Conscripts down for Stolio. Too busy trying to micro on this flank. Try to outmaneuver both of these machine guns. Which he does. B-42 gets forced away, but in comes some um, more grenadiers also with these squads. And now the 223 coming over for some support. Maybe even another wipe on the conscripts for the. 223, no it doesn't risk chasing any further but nearly got it. So Ally is struggling here with this build on both sides of the map, getting bullied. I find it's starting to stack some veterancy. So it does start getting a bit more scary. I mean the Vet 1 is I think bonus sight range so doesn't matter too much, but now they're starting to get towards Vet 2. Maybe a bit, a bit more troublesome. Get your man. He yeah, has completed his tick. Looks like he's saving for the Stuart. He's going to be hitting the field soon, but you know, it's going to be a little bit late compared to usual Stuart timing. You'd expect it to just about be on the battlefield by now. And that's really allowed the 223 to shine uncountered by AT grenades and uncountered by an opposing light vehicle. Even the M20 can give the 223 fits, especially before it gets the upgrade. Get some mines going up for Stolio, nice to see. He's also gearing up for another assault. Oh, Maxim sets up on the MG. Getting the suppression in first, and he's bringing in squads from multiple angles. This MG might not be able to hold the line here for. But there's Eddie. MG, MG Green's coming in for the support. This squad, I think, got suppressed before their Molotov comes in. This one trying to soft retreat, trying to backpedal here. Conscript's not letting up, staying on top of it. Trying to set up now, but. Maxim coming in in support. Pathfinder is gearing up for another bigger assault. Oh, Mortar team, but gets caught out. Mortar team will help against uh, double machine guns. It's actually a 50 cal. Must have been power dropped in by his teammate. Couldn't quite hold the line on that occasion. So, uh, rip and cool down and received accuracy of VIT 2. Grenade in over the wall. An oh. re, re echelon went down somewhere. Missed it. Sure on the field though, so 223 trying to be really cagey, trying to avoid these bazooka shots as well. There's some good damage in. Eight kills so far. Does have a raketon. Just coming out of the base now. A little bit late on this raketon build, honestly. Should have been out earlier. Oh, this could be dangerous. Driving right on past the Stuart, which doesn't chase. Looks like the machine gun got forced back, maybe by the mortar. Actually have a flare in. I'm not sure whose flare that is though.
do have a very late 2-2-2 two, two, two from over his Eddie, but you know, he has locked in Jaeg armor, so probably wants it for the spotting scopes. So he might as well get it now, I suppose. And throw doing some big damage, so you're a little bit late to react. Taking all that heavy heavy damage bonus. Forced away there by Flamer and Preacher Man did finally break through onto this fuel, capturing that. But I think to this point the Axis have had superior fuel control. It's not by an overwhelming amount. And Stuart out back for repairs, so 2 2 3 coming in, doing some damage, driving right in close here. Nearly Vet 3. Bit 2 it becomes a lot more lethal. 3% accuracy does make a big difference on that machine gun it has. Oh. Cap was unable to be completed by the pyres. Still there has a fresh squad of conscripts coming in. And T70 coming in, but as you can see it's 11 minute 30 T70, so definitely on the slow side. So yeah, the allies have been hurting a little bit for fuel, not too terribly but certainly about two minutes later than he would have liked. Oh, a little bit of an overcommit from these grenadiers. Maybe he could jump into the building but then there'll be Molotov so he just retreats. Sure coming in here maybe looking for the kill in 2-2-2 two, 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 but Pack is there. This could be dicey for the Stuart trying to outmaneuver the Pack. Pack gonna get one more shot in here. Can it get the killing blow? 222 comes forward maybe for some rear armor hits but can't quite get in range. Pack sets up. Uh, Pack sets shoots at the wrong thing. No attack ground there. Nice attempt though. On the pack positioning. Almost gets the Stuart. Crew stand ready. 223 at hit 3 now. Uh, he's putting into cash mode here. Quite far forwards though, so gonna be able to maybe use some uh, signal relay detecting the enemy vehicles from this range. But as you can see on this map, could put it like way back here, basically untouchable to the enemy. Close call on that conscript. Sidolio does seem to have a firmer grasp on the left hand side now. Looks oh T70 went down to a teller mine, it looks like. So it has no impact on the match. Sidolio actually going for a cash to try and make up for lost time. The fuel income has been very poor. Looks like this blob ran into a mine there. A whole stack of kills. Blob gets forced away. Second squad of paratroopers for Preacher Man here. And uh, Sidolio getting a mortar. I don't think he had that mortar earlier. It wasn't a mortar flare earlier that I saw. That was I don't know what it was. EP's uh, you know, decent lead for the Axis right now, but certainly not overwhelming. as well for this Eddie making a difference in these engagements. G2 with spotting scopes surveying the area. Kidden trying to sneak into position on the Stuart. Oh, pack not on prioritized vehicle still. Could go down to the Paris. Paris chasing in after it. 2 is there to help defend though. Kitten does get one shot on the Stuart, forces it away. Our troop is chasing in deep here. Stem Pioneers are there to defend, so is the 2 2 2. Ooh, that's a grenade, but. Doesn't actually do that much damage, only one model dropped there. Could have been a white though, I feel. I don't know how there's only attack. one model. Oh, Sidolio getting around the side of this machine gun. 
Oh, but runs back into the arc. Oh, he's going to toss a Molotov, but gets suppressed. And remember, when you suppress your grenade throwing range is reduced. So the grenade animation cancels. Wasn't close enough for it to continue. Oh, this is a nasty blob here. Look at this blob. Power is doing enough damage, and then the Pathfinder is just contributing with the crits. Really need a vehicle to deal with a blob like this. Oh, machine gun setting up. I don't think that's going to last. Stuart from the side as well. Look how quickly it's getting dropped. 222 comes over to help a little bit. Oh man, pyros go down. Rifle grenade goes in, trying to recover the flame and does. Gets out of there. That was a lot of casualties for the Axis there. Your source blob is nasty, Stuart. Looking for the kill on the 222. Gonna maybe find the 223 here, which is actually on half health. Could have used the repair critical, the emergency repairs on it to avoid a scenario just like this. Pack in there though, doing some damage. Stuart may go down for this and Rakitin setting up from the other side. 223. One attack round missed. Oh, 223 stopped. And it goes down to the Stuart. Rakitin misses the killing blow, but the pack doesn't. Stuart goes down. Stolen MG42 making life a little bit difficult here, but away got some incendiary artillery coming down as well actually avoided and the allies have been losing this fuel from time to time whereas this has been pretty well locked down by the axis so axis definitely have a fuel lead and in comes a panzer 4 for a and predator it's a shame that he lost his 223 because we've been uh, boosting his resources the whole game but such as life. The double red kitten. So good amount of anti-tank. So going for an ISG. Nice smoke out in the middle just in case the EMG's there. Nice work. Also got a recon plane coming for Ovi's Eddy. Oh, double mortars actually from Ovi's Eddy. They'll really put the hurt to Sedolio's MGs as long as they're in the right position, but of course, as we transition to the late game, they'll be a juicy target for the LA rocket artillery. Here comes the blob. Reasonably well set up, largely behind heavy cover, but this is just so much firepower. Oh, very late on the cancel. Oh, and he has to run around the corner. Got down. Ooh, nice ISG shell. Well going to work. Here comes the P4. Being upgraded with the MG as well. Good choice. Doesn't really need tank commander against the infantry blob like this. Needs the extra anti-infantry from the machine gun. Oh, but a Jackson coming in for Preacher Man to counter. Missing. Machine gun holding the line here. P4 getting some good hits in. Ooh, good hits. Oh, and now the mortars are contributing. A lot of bleed here for Preacher Man. He's low on manpower as well. He's going to be out of commission for ages. Wasn't some major artillery on this far building. Ooh, no reaction. One more shell. MG down. Ooh. Paris could go down though. P4 on the chase. Needs one more good hit. Oh, doesn't even need one more good hit. MG gets the kill. So there we go. MG upgrade showing it's worth 13 kills in that one engagement for the P4. And just in the nick of time, just before the Jackson hits the field, Preacher Man's going to require so much reinforcement now. I suppose looking on the bright side might be able to go M1919 on its Pathfinder so actually ended up dropping both of those M1919s that's one squad did he no I was going to say did he lose his MG42 again but oh.
That is a quad for Sedalio shooting down the plane there. Looks like Sedalio's maybe going to go straight into the IS-2. So that's why he's willing to go for quad instead of ticking up to tier 4. Still, you know, three command points away for it though. If he it's going to be a long way off. Pump some more major artillery. Might be able to force these team weapons away. Jackson is nearby. B4 is mopping up and so is all the Axis indirect fire. Jackson gets in there for one hit. Kitten gets revealed. Second Rakitten trying to creep up to return fire on the Jackson P4 having to pull back. Kitten gets in there for one shot but it gets decreased. Jackson pushing forwards. P4 having to get out of there in the face of the Jackson but Kitten is decreased. And now allies with double fuel quickly turning things around here swarming the Axis. directly on the Jackson just gets out of there alive. I think it does uh, 400 damage to Stuka Dive Bomb. So they've taken one shot, so combined 560 damage. Just alive. Dealing away the Rakitten as well, that's nice considering we'd have to power drop one in otherwise. Oh, Sedalia are bringing the quad in to do some anti-infantry duties, fair enough. We also have a fuel cash down for Obez Eddie, who is now at 13 command points. Gone for the Broom Bear, straight into tier 4. I'm going to try to go for the Broom Bear elephant combo. Sedalia hears this through the fog of war, pulling back. Does have a power dropped M1 AT gun from his ally though. So gone for the SU-76, I think that's a really good option here. A little bit of extra anti-tank, mobile anti-tank. Keep the Brumbeer in check, not going to delay his IS-2. Very good option from Sedolio. P4 back up to full. Been paying attention how he's been using repairs, but can use the emergency repairs. Oh, nice grenade! Oh, could get the wipe here. Obers actually have a M1919 as well, so if they stay alive, they're going to be a nightmare. Preacher man. Double LMG Obers, that is the dream. Jag Panzer now for and Predator. Good option to help keep the Jackson in check. We'll be taking some big shots there though. I'm going to pull back. Nice flare, I assume that's from Sedolio's mortar. Looks like they're going after the cash here, the Allied blob. Bumbi is a little bit low. Here comes the P4 though. Jackson hasn't rotated around to support. Oh, look how closely bunched they are. This P4 could get a monster hit here. Targeting a little bit long. 25 kills though on that. Oh, that was a big shot. 30 kills. 5 kills in one shot. That blob gets it. Punished pretty hard there. SU-76 chasing though. Oh man, AT grenade could go down. The boom bear. Pack, double packs are there, and SU-76 misses a shot. And come the P-47s. Boom bear, I think, is going to be able to get away. P-4s, I mean, uh, double packs get there. Just in the good time, and the Jagdpanzer actually kills the Jackson. Oh, and the P-4. Just survives the P-47s. Unlucky for Preacher Man. Loses his Jackson. Doesn't get the kill in return. We now stand at 300 points. Back to 
activate the AA mode on the Schwer. Oh! <laughs> oh, vintage Co2. Machine gun down. Oh, an AM Predator is going to be able to steal it. Oh, man. Unlucky for Sedolio there. Was that Sedolio's? Maybe that was, uh. I'm not sure whose that was. Maybe. I can never look at the corpses. Those look like Soviet corpses, I think. P4 back here. Still hasn't been using the emergency repairs as far as I can tell, I am pretty there. Got quite a lot of munitions floating, might as well pop it off. Oh man, those Obers went down so quickly. I think that was the double LNG Ober squad as well. Fresh Jackson coming up to tussle with the Jagdpanzer. Trading blows. P4 is ready though. P4 could blitz in here. Activates the AP ammo. And kills the Jackson just like that. Highs 2 next on the agenda. Overextension there from Preacher Man. A nice work there. Activating the AP ammo on the Jagdpanzer to fight the Highs 2. That's exactly what you want to be doing. Blitzing away now. From the stolen Raketan. Just got a few hits in from the side. Allies are in a commanding map control position right now. Because Eddie really suffered a lot whilst his Brumby was out of out of action for repairs. Struggling to hold on. On the left hand side. Oh, he's using the uh, beacon here. To reinforce his team weapon on the go. Ends up having to pull back. So Max is hanging in there on the far right hand side. EP score not too conclusive, too conclusive either way at the moment. So nothing to worry about there for either side. And the big boy is on the field, the elephant for Obez Eddie. So that's going to keep guys two in check in a big way. Peach man having lost both his Jacksons, very costly for the allies. Oh, nice concussive grenade. Might have lost his squad there otherwise. This is just such a nasty blob, though. Really needs P4. And once again, not using the emergency repairs. From here, heading over this way. And Preacher Man hears it through the fog. Insta retreats. He's got nothing to deal with that at the moment. One Raketan that was back at base. Would be being used on uh, whole fire the whole time though. The squad of pioneers has arrived. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Still, you're just about at his limit now. Oh, he's got a drop to MG42 as well. That's really nice. He's got nowhere to go for for now. So what he's doing is getting his tier 4 tech up while he's so close to his supply limit. Open up a few more options. Oh, he's got the uh, AT gun camouflage on this M1 here. Oh, elephant. Oh, big hit on the ice too. This is... Oh, oh, Brumbeer, not... Not firing here. Oh! Oh, that was a big hit. Lots of health damage, not that many kills. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Stuka dive bomb coming in. Oh! I think that was... A T-gun and two squads down to the dive bomb. Nicely done there by Obers Eddie. Kind of using the uh, Brumbeer as a diversion whilst the dive bomb dropped down. Once, though, once, I mean, if if he didn't use that as a diversion, the better way to play was once he got to Vet 1, 
pull back and then tried to use the bunker busting barrage from longer range. And a safer distance there would have been a better option, but yeah, nice bait. With the Stuka dive bomb there. Good creature man. <laughs> 29 supply. Getting another Jackson out though. EPs are stalled at the moment. Double Os Mortar getting forced off. So you're just leaving troops out here, locking down that left hand side. Going for a Kachusha now, pretty good option. We're getting a good shot in there. E4 also doing some good damage. Vet 3 on that bad boy already. 32 kills, nearly Vet 4 actually. We had a field day. Oh man, he's getting some good hits in with it here. May take your engine damage though. Oh, but the boom bear from the side just Sedolio retreats in time. That was so close. Elephant gets one shot in. SU 76 pulls back. Actually, one thing you have to remember heat rounds give you enough bonus damage such that the Yag Panzer or well, the Panzer IV could two hit those 400 health vehicles. It's an interesting breakpoint. And there, takes a bit of damage. P4 in there, trying to knock out the M1, but still alive. Some incendiary artillery and the P47's coming in, forcing back these Axis units. Big damage in the process. Jackson coming in. P4 in a little bit of trouble. Ice 2 is there. Ice 2 penetrates. Here's the killing blow on the Vet 4. Panzer 4. And yeah, Panzer came in to support that. What's up? Going down. Sounds like maybe something. Oh, yeah. The kitten goes down. Maybe a squad who's gone down. A predator, maybe a fox reindeer. Yeah. There's a whiffer. To the middle. Super long range though. Does it just about nothing. Now Katusha is targeting those double mortars like I was saying earlier. They'll be lucky to escape. Late retreat. Oh man, that was a close call. Either way, good brush for Sedolio. Four kills. Could have been. Between uh, 10 or so. 8. Green 8. Looks like some carnage happened over here. Unpack down for his Eddy. Push back out onto the right hand side for AM Predator. EP's still not too bad for either, both over 200, but it seems like the Allies have been in firm control in the center for quite some time now. And nice bundle grenades, the squad just doesn't leave cover in time, still had their heavy cover bonus there. Very close call though. Get three paras, but the Ogres are behind heavy cover. Might be able to win this. Despite being three men. Community is coming to support. Just to dodge with the grenade. Nicely done. And yeah. 2v1. Getting overwhelmed. Yeah, Panzer creeping in with the cautious movement. Before it's target. We've got double Jacksons now for Preacher Man. So that's a lot of anti-tank. For the allies. If it misses that blow. SU-76. And it was a warning shot. <laughs> and the uh, allies reacting accordingly. Oh, Wiffer comes in close this time. Going to take an AT grenade. The Jackson's try to come in. For the follow up. Doesn't look like it. Not much holding the line though for the Axis in terms of like infantry, nothing forcing back 
the allied units here. Let's get more attempts to target for the Katusha. Oh my god, so low on health. Somehow escapes. So Sidoli may be going to steal away the pack. That's his army. In fact, he probably can't even reinforce anymore. It's maxed out now after stealing that pack. And here in the back line, Sidoli, as I mentioned. Oh man, that's a king tiger for Ant Predator. No, facing off against double Jacksons though, that's a tricky one. Tricky one to overcome with a uh, King Tiger. It's going to come down to positioning of both the Jagdpanzer and, of course, the Elephant. Oh, nice hit from the Brumbier. I feel like this hasn't really, since uh, maximum potential, barely got any kills so far this match. Now commission for repairs and just hasn't been used quite enough. King Tiger out here doing some good damage, forcing away the allies on the far right hand side. Nexus are starting to get a little bit low now. Grenade to BPs. Double Jacksons were looking for an attack on the Brumbier. I think at the moment the Axis probably need to just focus on controlling two VPs. Try to use the large range in sight of the elephant to contain. The allies try to fight close to it. Big hits on the IS-2 from the elephant, getting vet one now. Double AT guns and SU-76 are there. Elephant taking some big damage, big damage. Bouncing a few hits. King Tiger moving in. Oh man, this could be the end. P-47s coming in now. Elephant misses. Return fire. Here come the double Jacksons now. Slight overextension. Oh, and the P-47s are dishing it out, but that does allow the elephant to uh, back away alive. Oh, and Jagdpanzer gets vet too, so one more shot to kill on it. And the Jacksons actually disengage. Don't go in for the kill there. Oh, man, Jagdpanzer. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Somehow escapes alive from the P-47s. Targeting the mortars once again. Spread them out, not set them up next to each other. Try and neutralize the effectiveness of the Katusha. Just now hit bit one. Two on the Brumbia. Only eight kills though still. Pull back to his mechanized regiment for repairs. Jackson going in hunting for the Werfer here. King Tiger mobilizing. King Tiger gets a big hit him with the heat rounds as well. And that goes down to the pack from the rear, I think. King Tiger with heat rounds. That is nasty. Does so much damage to tanks. What was that? I think it will be like 320 damage, right? So heat rounds. So, you know, can two shot. I actually haven't tested that. I think it should be able to two shot the Jackson. Tiger with heat rounds. I don't think I've, you know, I've played this commander a lot, but I don't think I've ever got the King Tiger with it. Move a lull in the action. Put your man. Shut, shut down off map. Oh, not off map, but out of harm's way. Good smoke here from Aim Predator to cover the capture in the middle. Chusha may have something to say about that though. Ooh. Oh no, he's gonna lose his squad. Someone's still alive. 
Somehow still alive. Double overs. No, there they go. Double overs going to work. Here comes the King Tiger back in action. Jagdpanzer also alive. T guns opening up on nice two. Some incendiary artillery coming in on that pack that just revealed itself though. Rumbia, oh an elephant could be in trouble. Elephants mobilizing. Jackson. Oh some big hits in. Elephant still alive, pulling back. Looks like one Jackson actually went down. Oh no, that was that one that suicided in. Okay, I didn't miss it. The egg pans are creeping up with a cautious movement. Oh, okay, it's VET 5 there. Gets the bonus coming out of camouflage. Still a long way away. Points left for the Axis. They gotta turn this one around fast. Slowly draining out here. Oh, the Bumbi is so close to death. Oh, and he just doesn't quite back it up far enough. That might have been an attack round from Sedolio as well. In come the P-47s. I'll trip to Urang Ford for an AT grenade attempt. And they get in range. Elephant a little bit too slow. And uh, now the Jackson's coming in for the cleanup. Kentucky and Yagpans are on the other side of the map. Oh, in come the P-47s and down goes the elephant. Once again, Kachusha coming in on the mortars. Oh, that one goes down finally. Yagpans are in the middle trying to force away some tanks, but... Big casualty, big loss there. Maybe not. Maybe it's Eddie straight away calling in another elephant. But you see there the perils of the Axis trying to fight with the elephant so far away from his teammate and the support. Got isolated and got knocked out. Which is why I'm saying they need to use it together a little bit more. Trying to focus on the middle and right rather than trying to push over to the left too much. Can target in the middle, doing some damage. Giving some good hits in in response though, but bouncing. Oh, big hit. Heat rounds on the ice too. Look at it. It does like, like over a third of its health, I'm pretty sure. Jackson's coming over, doing some big damage. King Tiger could be in trouble. Yakpanzer not contributing. Here it comes now. One Jackson goes down. Out of control. Might be able to get one more shot in. No. Jackson's still chasing in. King Tiger blitzing away, trying to get away. Jackson bouncing, potentially the killing blow. Can the King Tiger get the kill? Yes! Oh, but the King Tiger goes down to the chasing in IS-2. And uh, Yagpans, I think, also going down to the follow-up AT push. And uh, AT gun going to go down. Can the Elephant kill the retreating Jackson? It does. Carnage. Both sides losing a tremendous amount there. Three Jacksons down for Preacher Man. And Predator losing the... Oh. Mostly avoided. And Predator losing the KT and the Beat Up Jagdpanzer. So and Predator now down to 23 supply. A lot of team weapons here, you recrew. Get his army back back on track quickly. Looks like maybe he's gonna go for a panther here. Enemy forces are neutralizing so they're getting low on VPs as well. They're branching out. Maybe his Eddie really needs to spend his resources. Going a little bit too much. Sounds like these guys are gonna be better. He's 
decent barrage there. A couple kills. V1 now. Max is securing the VPs. And I still have plenty to work with though. About to get a triple cap potentially. Ice 2 back up to full re for another assault. Which man is still <laughs> also extremely low on army at the moment. We're building some Obers and some Fox Grenadiers. Fox Grenadiers should be nice to recruit all these decrew team weapons. He really needs to get another unit or two though. Probably wants to go for the Brombeer again, which is why he hasn't gone for anything yet, but really squeezes on. Still get the Brombeer and one more unit, so he should get it as soon as possible. Chish on to the mortar again. Oh, big hit from the elephant. Oh, but it's stunned now. Target weak point. And Ice 2 coming in to mop up. Nice tag weak point from Sidolio. Elephant in big trouble. Could go for tag weak point of its own on the Ice 2, but doesn't. Ice 2 bounces two in a row. P47 is coming in for the cleanup though. They get it. One of our panzers has been destroyed. Yeah, every time Obezidi tries to bring the elephant over more to the left, just gets punished for it. He needs to be a bit more conservative with his alpha play, like in terms of pushing too far up. Oh, I'm pretty sure an Ober squad just died there. <laughs> I think he's going for another King Tiger, but in the meantime, starting to get overwhelmed. Treating those seems a little bit unusual as well. It's on three men who contribute. There's Jackson, Preacher Man. Looks like maybe Obi's Eddie really trying to save for another elephant, but a little bit too uh, too late. Don't think he's going to be able to get there in time before the VPs run out. So yeah, pretty pretty close match. Honestly, without the elephant overextensions, this would have been uh, even closer. Also, once the axe has lost all of those units in that big, you know, Jackson push, they should have gone for units more affordable, more attainable. You know, Obis Eddie not fielding enough units. Maybe saving for the Brumby, I'm not sure what he was doing at the late game there. And then also Aim Predator was trying to save for the King Tiger. If he went for a Panther, would have had it on the field help to defend earlier. Especially when there are, you know, like 40 or so VPs trying to save is uh, very risky, especially for something like the King Tiger, which can often not really uh, be that useful anyway. But overall, a uh, nice back and forth match. Some uh, big, big tank fights. I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye. Good luck.